Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue in my series of stories with respect to Rabbi Yisroel, the um, Rabbi of Rizhin. And um, we have a comment that um, Rabbi Yisroel made with respect to uh, Tzadikim, uh, religious leader, Rebbe, and the people. And the comparison is this. He says, as someone prepares to split a tree with an axe and makes a great swing at it, but misses, and the axe goes into the earth, it's similar to a tzaddik, a righteous person, a holy person. He talks to people in order to rouse their hearts to the service of God. But they don't heed him. They admire only the cleverness and artfulness of his sermon. The Rebbe is like someone taking an axe and splitting a log for firewood. He swings with great power, but he misses and it hits the ground. Similarly, sometimes someone speaks to a group of people. He tries to wake them up, to wake up their souls, to wake up their desire to serve God. And yet all the people do is they just listen to whatever artfulness he has, any uh, clever analogies he makes, a metaphor that, that they find particularly amusing. And he misses. He misses the log. It goes into the ground. The whole point of addressing people with a purpose to awaken the spirit within them and to move them to be better people, to serve God, to love God, to obey God, the purpose is to hit the log. But sometimes the message misses. Sometimes it's because that uh, the speaker isn't using the right words to affect uh, his listeners. Or maybe uh, the people are not ready for it. Um, and the speaker misjudges the target. And... Um, They'll say, boy, look at this, swinging like a, the greatest woodsman I've ever seen. It's fantastic. He's got a lot of style. Sadly, he misses the point. And um, one must always keep in mind when one is speaking um, to a group of people or to a single person. Focus on what it is you want to say to this particular person in a way that this particular person or group of people will accept, in a way that it will resonate with them as much as you can. You don't always hit, sometimes you miss. But um, someone who's a tzaddik, someone who's a righteous person, a holy person, someone who's filled with a with the, the desire and the skill and the Torah knowledge to, uh, to give a good talk one-on-one -on -one or to a group. That's a special gift. And um, your words, you don't know when or how your words will affect. Something that you say to a person now and he keeps it in his heart, he keeps it in his mind, it bounces around, and you don't know if a year, two years, five years, ten years later, the penny will drop. It's important for us to connect. Mind to mind, heart to heart, soul to soul. Because with our words, we can move mountains. We can change the future. We can change a person's life. We can change our lives. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back.
please watch, please hear, please learn. I hope my words in some small way um, touch you and affect you. If nothing else, then to inspire you to speak to others and bring them to the service of God, bring them to the love of God and obeying of God. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.